Hey people this is Mindful Talks podcast welcome to the third episode of hashtag #decoding buzz today we're going to speak all about scrum or waterfall identify the best methodology that suits your startup so with an invention of new software development methodologies more often it becomes challenging task for startup companies to choose the methodology that best suits their project needs So for a complex mobile app development it becomes essential to comprehend the project requirement before taking any decision to choose the appropriate methodology for an app development. In addition, budget, time limitation, update requirements, scope of project and expertise of professionals are several other criteria that is essentially we should consider and when it comes to make a decision they are quite crucial. So yes in today's podcast we are going to discuss about the scrum and waterfall technology that help new startups to select that which methodology best suits their project requirement first let's understand what is scrum so scrum is a popular framework and control process to reduce the project complexity and enhance focus on developing products that accomplish the precise needs of business It's very simple yet efficient framework useful for successful team collaboration when it comes to work on complex projects. In this framework you can just know as like sprints that take one or two weeks by the time to deliver software module on a regular interval and parted features require approaching using an agile methodology. This efficient framework follows a set of tasks, meetings as well as responsibilities that cannot amend. The four main ceremonies of scrum that provide structure to all the sprints that includes sprint planning, daily stand up as well as sprint demo and presentation. For the period of each of the sprint, the team utilizes visual object to demonstrate progress and get gradual feedback. The key roles of scrum are the product owner like that is the person who represent the company then comes scrum master the person who defines three ceremonies that include sprint planning daily scrum and sprint retrospection he known as a team facilitator and not a team leader or a project manager then comes the scrum team the team is responsible for the development of the project the key advantage of scrum is like there are many so it goes like enhanced responsibility of each team member so as there is no project leader to assist uh, the scrum team it becomes a collective responsibility of each team member regarding the work that need to complete in each sprint so with mutual understanding it requires to assist each other in work and accomplish the task together it enhances team collaboration and gives authorization to each team member to work independently and efficiently then comes increased project visibility so the scrum team need to make daily meetings that ensure the team to know what each member is doing that reduces confusion and unnecessary arguments it makes easy to find any issues in the initial stage that help that's helpful for the team to work out prior to it becomes integrate so yeah the another advantage is make the amendment simple so using the small part of sprints and regular feedback it becomes simple to deal with necessary amendments in case if the owner needs to add any fresh feature in the sprint they can add it easily in the succeeding sprint at the time of the meeting of backlog refinement then comes need short time to market the incremental delivery system make possible to reduce the time to market the product that help in boost revenue there are through testing at each sprint prior to move to the next sprint makes it full proof then comes enhance quality and reduce expenses so as it requires less time to market the product it becomes highly cost efficient and with throughout testing at each sprint enhances the product quality and make it seamless now let's understand the waterfall model so this software development model is useful for the projects which are small in size and having precise requirements 
It needs to review after completion of each phase to determine if everything is perfect or need to abandon or not to continue it further. The testing process is carried out only after the completion of the entire project development. This model is useful when project requirement is clear, precisely known as predetermined. The main thing in like like there are uncertain requirements, stable product definition and known technology. So when the project is small and sufficient resources available freely with required proficiency, it gives fruitful outcomes. So now let's really discuss in deep about the key advantage of waterfall so this easy to use and manage software development model follows a sequential pattern which are similar for all the projects the project team can work on it directly without any training or experience to work with this model phases need to complete one by one and do not overlap due to the model rigidity each phase has precise deliverables and a review process. In every phase, it requires documentation that results in easily understand the logic for coding and testing process. This model is most appropriate for small size projects having well-defined and clear requirement. This makes easy to deliver the project on time. Lastly, we will say that when it comes to taking a decision to identify the best methodology suits your startup between the scrum and waterfall, it totally depends on the scope, size, amendment and several other criteria in addition to the budget of the project. As in waterfall model, you cannot go back and make any changes. It becomes highly expensive for big sized and complex projects. If your product is small in size and all requirements are clear and known, you can choose the waterfall model. When in scrum model, there are no limitations for amendment. It becomes uncertain to define project deadlines. Moreover, team members need experience and expertise with dedication to accomplish the given task. So yes, that's it. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you in the next episode. Till then, keep on listening Mindful Talks podcast.